As you know, Mike Parson has been reelected with 57% of the vote to Nicole Galloway's 41%. And of course, we're going to check in now with Vic Faust. He spoke exclusively with Governor Parson just a little while ago. Vic? Yeah, I did, guys. Uh, the governor had his acceptance speech on the stage. He was very passionate about what he said. And then he went and spent time with his family and his friends and his campaign who helped him win this election. I was able to get an exclusive interview. We kind of talk about the emotion of things that are going on. Here's that exclusive interview with Governor Parson. Governor, was that the most impassioned speech you think you've ever given that acceptance speech, the victory speech in front of all of your fans and supporters? Never you dream you're going to be giving that kind of speech as the governor of the state of Missouri, where I came from, a small town of 356 people. It's just a great night. I'm just so proud of Missourians across the state. Uh, who we are in this state. I, you know, I love the people of this state, and I love this state, and it's, it's just an honor and privilege to be the governor. When you accepted, you went somewhere else. Who were you with? What did you talk about? What was that feeling and emotion like? Well, I think, I, you know, I've talked to my family and my staff and all the immediate people around me, my friends, and just uh, to be able to just say how humble it was to win this race again and for people in the state to have that much trust and confidence in you. It just gives me the enthusiasm every day to go to work, work hard. I've said that all during this campaign, that hard work pays off, and tonight uh, is proof of it. And here we are. I'll be the next governor of the state of Missouri. There's a lot of work to be done, but you're celebrating now. Where does this rank in life accomplishments? You know what, it's one of the highest accomplishments. You put family off that, being the governor of the state of Missouri is the highest honor I've ever had and never expected to be the governor of the state of Missouri. But uh, here I am today, look forward to the challenges of, of tomorrow and the future of this state. But uh, I believe we're on the right track for the state. I think believe people believe in us. And I want to make sure and keep their trust and keep this state moving forward. When did it hit you tonight that, yes, you are indeed going to win and win in a landslide? You know, I'm, I'm not sure. I had people coming in congratulate me. You know, the AP called it. I, I think when my opponent called, you know, you kind of really realized then, hey, this is a real deal. But, uh, you know, I just kind of got to want to make sure it was right. You know, I think it's what you did. But uh, w when my family got around there, my friends got around and says, hey, congratulations. I knew the night was over and uh, we were going to celebrate in just a short while. Many campaigns are tough. This one, no exception. What did Nicole say to you? Because it was pretty tough in those ads with you two going back and forth. Yeah, she called and said congratulations, and, and, and we both talked just very briefly. But the thing about it is, you know, what we got to do is move forward. I got to be the governor, she's got to be the auditor. Campaign's behind us, and we got to move forward for the people of this state. What's up first tomorrow? You're not going back to work again tomorrow, are you? Yeah, that, that crack staff of mine's got me going in tomorrow, so, <laughs> I, so I'll be back in the office a little bit. I'm going to go home tonight, rest a little bit in the morning, but we'll be back to work tomorrow, uh, probably around noon or so. Back to the grind. Governor Parson, thank you again for your time and congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I just want to again tell the people of the state of Missouri I just how much I appreciate them uh, for putting the trust and confidence in me for four more years. Uh, we're going to work hard for them. All right, we'll send it right back. And that was the exclusive governor interview with us tonight after accepting his win in a tightly contested race throughout the campaigning. And then tonight it was all Mike Parson. He was celebrating. His party is celebrating. They're still here. They'll be here throughout the night watching the presidential election. That does it for us in Springfield. Ladies, I'll send it back to you. All right, Vic, thanks. We're going to give, a, give you another look at the numbers from the Missouri governor's race. We have uh, State Auditor Nicole Galloway was hoping for an upset tonight. She has 41% of the vote to incumbent Governor Mike Parsons, 57% of the vote. And Fox 2's Jasmine Huda has been in Columbia all evening with Galloway's camp. And let's check in with her live now. Jasmine. Mandy and Shirley, as you both know, Nicole Galloway was hoping to deliver a victory speech live here at the Tiger Hotel in Columbia, Missouri. But unfortunately, they fell short in a very big way. Shortly after the results were announced, the winner was declared. She gave her concession speech and she congratulated Governor Parson. She thanked her family, she thanked her campaign, and of course her supporters. But she was not backing down. She was not backing down on her campaign message. She brought up one of the issues that was central to her campaign on resetting Jefferson City. She brought up the state's response to COVID-19. Over this course of this campaign, we built a coalition of Missourians who were united around a few simple values. That we can no longer ignore science and the growing threat of COVID-19. That no one should be denied access to health care amidst a deadly pandemic. 
Nicole Galloway, of course, was calling for a statewide mask mandate, something that Governor Parson was refusing to do. He wanted to leave the issue up to the local governments. There was so much optimism going into this race. Democrats were hoping that they could flip the governor's seat blue and that for the first time, Missouri would elect its first female governor, especially given the record turnout we were seeing this evening in major metropolitan areas, including St. Louis County. But clearly not enough votes. Nicole Galloway will continue her role as the state auditor, a position she has held since 2015.